Hey YouTube, it's Hey Care, and in this video, I'm gonna go over some ways to prevent getting infected by spyware and malware. Like prevent it. A lot of uh, people that get infected by malware get infected because it requires them to do an action on their system. Um, so I'm just gonna go over some of the common ways people these days get infected by two bars, adware, malware, you name it, all right. And uh, I'm just going to show you a few examples here because today I was looking for some ROMs for the uh, Zelda Ocarina of Time game. And uh, a lot of the websites I came to have this, okay? So a lot of people, and it doesn't, it, can, it doesn't always have to do with this. It can be any type of download. When they go to download a file, you'll see here what happens is it's telling us that we need to add an extension to the browser. If you ever see that when you're downloading, Sutton, it should never offer any uh, extensions. Once you add this extension, that extension, if it's malicious, it could start redirecting your browser, sending pop-ups to you on Google Chrome, and it can mess up your browser right away. Uh, just by clicking that download link, it's want, it wants me to install some extension. Uh, uh, that's just BS. Go to another website if it's out for you to install some kind of extension. If the download link does not drop a file right away, and it uh, wants you to install something to Google Chrome. <coughs> Excuse me. Back out of the website because that's probably just going to mess your browser up. That's one of the ways that malware gets on your computer. So here's another little example here. We're going to click on the download link for this. Alright. So I'm just trying to get this. And I'm going to go to the download link. And I get this. Secure your digital life with a new password manager. And it wants me to... Uh, it's offering me to uh, install SafePass to the computer. I don't want SafePass. It's completely contrary to what I'm trying to download and what I'm looking for here. I'm trying to look for the uh, Twilight Princess uh, ROM. And this is trying to give me safer pass. A lot of people that get infected by malware would click uh, add and start download. And then they're going to end up with this getting installed on their computer. And you gave that permission. And then it makes your browser slow. And then who knows what else it would install after you install the safe pass. It probably has other programs you don't want. So I'm going to go here and click uh, skip. And it's going to ask me again. Now at this point, if your website's offering you to uh, download other software that you don't want, you should just back out and not even trust the site, all right? Because it's just an ad. It's just ads. That all it wants you to do is get download other software so they can send you pop-ups and ads and take over your browser. So... At this point, I would just back out of this website, but if I click on skip, it's dropped the file, the .exe file. Anyhow, when I run this .exe file, there is more uh, unwanted software inside here. So here we go to install the game. Now, this can be any type of download you're doing, and it will be the same thing that you may encounter here. So if I click on next, it's offering me to install AVES free antivirus. Now, that's a fairly good antivirus. However, I don't want AVES. I'm going to click decline. A lot of people, they might just rush through here and click accept and they end up with that. And now I've actually got the download. And here's another offer offer. Search office offer. If I were to click accept, it's going to install something to Google Chrome that I don't want. I'm reading it right here. I don't want that crap on my browser. And if I click accept and I'm not careful, I get that on my browser. That is why... I the number one reason people have adware in, on their browser and toolbars and pop-ups like that is because they're installing these t extensions when they install a software. It could be anything and they don't click decline. All right. And um, now it wants me to install advanced PC care. I've actually made a video on how to remove advanced PC care. Uh, you see here that we don't want this advanced PC care on the computer. If I click accept, it's also going to install advanced PC care, and we don't want that. That's, at this point, we can see that this installer here is just loaded with crap that we don't want. I would, at this point, I would uh, shut the computer off and delete the file and never bother installing the program and f find another website that's not going to have so much crap installed with it to get the ROM or the download or the program that you're trying to look for I would find another website that's more more friendly that's not going to offer me a bunch of crap so I'm going to click the client again and uh, I think it 
it finally completed the download and it took a big process for me to uh, get that installed without getting anything on my computer that's uh, some of those ways that malware gets on the system when you don't look on uncheck boxes so right here's another example here you could be browsing the web and then you'll get this pop up here and it has an extension add to chrome it could be that you needed to play a video on a website and it says that you must install a plugin here or it could be something like what you're seeing right here if I click add to chrome that's just going to install whatever this is to my Google Chrome. And I'm sure this will add that once I install this, I'm sure I'm going to get lots of pop-ups and ads and crap I don't want. So I would never, ever install an add-on that I don't want. I would read and say, this is a bunch of shit I didn't even ask for. And I would back back out of the page right away. So um, if you're smart when you're on the internet and you're downloading files, you will look for these types of hazards and you won't download other stuff that you don't need and you would be very very smart when you download uh, stuff and you'll look for things like I've showed you here like add-ons and stuff that you don't want and skip it and opt out of them if you want um, then you won't get them or you would just simply not trust a site like this and you would go to another site I mean every site I've actually looked for for this um, it had some type of adware there's something stupid that it wanted me to uh, install as well. I'm going to see if I can find another example. I mean, for this ROM that I'm looking for, it seems like every single website I go to has some kind of malware on it. Yeah, I mean. This one doesn't even have a download link. But you get the point. Alright, let's see what happens here if I click on this download link. It's going to a new website. I don't even want to go to this website. Now, here's another example. I just clicked download now. And you can see at the bottom, I got HD Video Player Free.exe. This is completely, completely not what I was after. So if I run this, this is, chances are this is malware right here. If I install this, thinking that this is the ROM that I was trying to search and download, I'm just going to end up with more malware and spyware on my computer. Pay attention to the file names. If it's contrary to what you're looking for, don't run the file. That simple. All right? Because I'm sure this is loaded with crap that I don't even want. And all I did was click this download link. So it's websites like this that are that are offering these malwares you need to just not, not go to anymore. Um, sometimes your antivirus software will actually pick these up and say that this has malware on it. Other times it won't, but I'm just saying you don't need an antivirus software to keep your computer safe from malware. You just need to be aware of the hazards here. Um, and that's going to get like likely avoid 90% of the malware. So when you're downloading files, be aware of these pop-ups and these add-ons and these extensions that you might after or plugins that they might offer you on Google Chrome and don't install them. If it's offering any extension, if it's offering any other product, other than you want, just don't even use that website and find a new website to download whatever you're looking for. Um, these are uh, commonly... Uh so here's an example, another one. You may be browsing the web and looking for PC repair tools and you'll come across something like this with a website re-image. Qu quite commonly, uh, Adware would use a design like this and uh, you start to download and it's re-image repair. Never use re-image repair. It's a piece of crap. It doesn't do anything. It's going to ask you for money. I'm trying to uh, pull off a tech support pop-up. You know what they look like when you get them. We would like to improve the services that we offer to our customers by asking you to complete a... We would like to improve the services that we offer to our customers by asking you to complete a short... Alerted better, us uh, comment, that it is uh, infected with the virus and spyware. This virus is sending your credit card details, Facebook login, and personal emails to hackers remotely. Please call us immediately uh, at the toll-free number to listed so that our support engineers can walk you through the removal process over the phone. Network.
If you close this page before calling us, we will be forced to disable your computer to prevent further damage to our network. Error number 2, 6, 8, D, 3. Critical alert from Microsoft. Your computer has alerted us that it is infected with the virus and spyware. And then get this virus is sending your credit card details, to, uh, Facebook login, for, uh, and Facebook personal computers emails computers to hackers and remotely. And normally your Please call us immediately at the toll-free number listed, so that our support easy, engineers easy, can walk you through the removal uh, process uh, over the, the phone. If you close this page so before calling us, we will be forced to disable your computer to prevent from... Alright, so if you take these measures, you'll be able to avoid a lot of the malware infections on the computers. And uh, you just have to make sure you're smart. I mean, you don't really need to have an antivirus software. If you're really smart, you won't ever get infected by adware or spyware or malware. So I hope this video has been successfully... I hope this video has successfully taught you how to stay uh, safe from malware. And uh, if you ever need help with your computer, contact me on Facebook. On the comment section of this video, you will have a link to the official profile. Thanks for watching. Remember to comment, write, and subscribe.